Hi guys! Alright, excuse the mess that is behind me right now. I'm living in a dorm with my roommate and we're, it's summer and we're in the process of packing and moving out. I mean, actually we have like another month here, but we're still cleaning. So for my second video, I was really excited about this. This came yesterday and this is the Apu, 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 Apu? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Core Volcanic Roller. And I saw this online. I was really confused by it. So I decided to pick one out just to see what it was. I have, um, from what I can tell, this is, uh, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be for absorbing oil and sebum. And they sent me two. By the way, I bought this with my own. I got off eBay and it comes with two of them. So that's great. And these apparently have about I mean, the instructions here are Korean, but from what I saw on the website, this is about four to six uses, which I guess depends on how much oil it is, but essentially what you're supposed to do is just roll this on places that are that you have a lot of oil on in your face, or just oil in general, and it'll absorb the oil, and then when you're done, you're supposed to leave it in a container of water for like five to ten minutes, or until apparently it bubbles or it makes bubbles, so until it stops bubbling and then leave it to dry for a day, which kind of sounds happy, but I guess that's why there's two, so you can alternate between them then. I just figured that it would probably be like, you know, after one of these is done, you use another, but I guess that makes more sense, actually, if you they sent two so we can alternate and just not have to be like, all right, am I going to oil my volcanic roll my face today or tomorrow? But this is interesting. So. I, just for background information, I have eczema, which is why I have all these rashes on my face right now. It's been a bit of an issue, but they're slowly working, or they're slowly tearing up. I just, but uh, due to my eczema, I have oily spots, um, particularly on my forehead, on my nose, and occasionally on my cheeks. So right now, my face is not washed. I figured leave it like this for um, volcanic rolling. See, ugh. Yeah. Figured leave it like it normally is, just so I can get like a good estimate of how much oil it is. Normally, it doesn't produce too much. A couple every now and then, there are a few days where it produces a lot more. So, I wear my oils. So what I'm going to do is I am going to. <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> I have no idea why my voice is like this today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my face first, and then afterwards I'm going to go over it with an oil wipe just to see how much it can absorb. So if, normally about one oil wipe is good enough for entire, my entire face. It fills up like pretty well, unfortunately. Should this work, I hope I won't have a lot of oil on this. So, this is what the roller looks like. It's very small, it's about like three inches at most, maybe like less small and it's got they have covering they have casing on them on this side there's um it's not covered though but how would I describe this my hands are clean by the way I already washed them and it feels hard kind of chalky to be honest so let's see how this looks nothing wrong with it right now or nothing on it right now and it looks pretty smooth and chalky so we're just gonna get to oil with it or oil rolling It is leaving like a chalky layer kind of on my skin, just a little bit. I'm not really sure how to oil what uh, roll this. I was checking online to see if there's any like more specific instructions if I need to wash my face first or anything, but it said just oil it. Oh, you can actually see the oil on. Actually, I can't tell if that's because I do have some rashes on my face right now and they're flaky, and so I can't tell if it's. Uh, Maybe, and they're healing. So I can't tell if that is what's on my face rather than the oil, but I, I think it's the oil because I'm not really going over those places too much. At least I'm trying not to. This rolls really easily though. It's a little squeaky, but like, well, it's not really an issue for anybody. I was gonna say that I wish they made this bigger, but actually I feel like this is a really good size just because it can get in between places a lot easier than like a 
beer one would. I don't really smell anything on the volcano, on the thing too, but there is a layer of oil on here, you can tell. Not a layer, hold on, let me rephrase. But um, there are some marks on here that I think, I guess it's, it's oil absorption, or like I said, it could be from my rashes that are healing right now. Like as you can see, there is a little bit of stuff on here. So I I think I got everywhere. Just let me roll again real quickly. Like I said before, it left like a thin chalky layer at the top of at my T-zone where like I'd started. But I'm not noticing that anywhere else right now, so. I don't know if I would recommend using this over makeup though. I feel like you're better off with an oil wipe sheet in case like this moves it around. But also I feel like the makeup might get into it and could, I'm not sure, but it could stay on here and like ruin it. But I think that's it. I'm not seeing any difference in this now. So I'm just gonna put this away and then I am going to grab an oil sheet and see how much oil is left. So there is some left so far. That's just a small part of my forehead, so. <coughs> so have a good day, you guys, bye.